So also, little known fact, Webster had a number two song in Japan in the 80s. That's what this is? And that is what this abomination is. Oh my God. Is. It's called City Connection. The Japanese are so interesting. <laughs> They're fascinating. They loved this shit. But their culture, like what entertains them, is just oh. hysterical. I know. I don't understand it's it either. It's so off the wall all the time. So crazy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is this? This is Webster singing this? What what is singing happening? like part of it in Japanese. It's just and it has a like nonsense a, a baby song. effect on his voice. Oh, that's not, I don't know if that's an effect. He's singing in Japanese? Yes. <laughs> It's fucking weird, man. This is weird as shit. <laughs> Do you <laughs> have you seen their that Japanese game show where it takes place in the library, and you just you pick a card, everyone picks a card, and then they have to do something in the library without making noise. No, you've never seen this. No, it's a Japanese game show where like six people sit at a table, and they're like, all right, and they signal to each other, and then someone will be like, shh. And they put five cards in the table. Everybody grabs one. And the guy who's like, without one, it's his turn to go. And then they like spin a wheel. And it says like, you know, whatever. The nipple rubber band game. And then they fire like rubber bands at the guy's nipples. Like, wow. Ah, he's got to be quiet during it. See, that's the interesting part. And they fucking love the show. Right. It's always about some sadistic premise. Like yes. Humiliation. Back to Webster. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson loved him. Love. Because he was like, You are a baby forever. Yes. And I love little babies. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? I of think course. you nailed it. I didn't even put that together until just now. Really? That that's why he liked because Emmanuel was forever a baby. Forever. Yeah. You're a child forever. Wow. I didn't he likes even children. think about that. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, so I was looking at interviews. Was it hard for you and Michael to touch your butthole? <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Michael never touched my butthole. Google like Webster the TV show. Okay. When he talks to George and Ma'am, that's the voice that he has, he had back then. Okay. But I don't want to go downstairs for dinner. Like these American sitcoms, you've got two kinds of super short, cute little orphans <laughs> being raised by black. adoptive <laughs> parents. Your Arnold from Different Strokes or your Webster Long from Webster. And like the Beatles versus the Stones, some people are Arnold people and some are Webster people. Really? So dumb. I'm an Arnold person. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to pick you as a Webster person. No, no not at all. But tonight, well, yeah, because here's what happened. Mm -hmm. Here is is that so Gary Coleman came out on different strokes? Yeah. And it was such a huge success that the other network decided to create yeah, Webster. a little black. Right, it yeah. was it was the rival. So he's forever having to I like how this guy though, they're I think they're about to have Webster on. He's like, I'm an Arnold guy. Right, to cause controversy. Yeah, but I mean that's just a shit. This is just like going on a radio show. I know. Here is okay. one for the Webster people. Sweet. This is a letter my dad once wrote my mommy. And cute. Almost sickeningly cute. You and George both made me daddies. But there's only one mommy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just... 
<laughs> you know, I just realized that's our new intro. That he's FIFO as a little. Oh, uh, he's a little tiny. He's a little bell like human FIFO. Yeah. There's only one mommy. <laughs> only one mommy. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one mommy. <laughs> 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 That's so stupid. Uh, I guess we just got bookmarked. <laughs> <laughs>